all new at 11 millions in taxpayer dollars seized by the FBI in a conspiracy designed to exploit the elderly. I team investigator Katie Legrone uncovers a web of secrets surrounding dozens of Florida businesses set up by two people now under investigation by the feds. You're watching exclusive video as federal agents quietly raid this Florida office building. I look up and the entire lobby is filled with FBI agents. Part of a nationwide bust on Medicare fraud. It was a shock. <laughs> By early afternoon, the feds confiscated boxes of evidence and computers from nearly a dozen companies inside, according to the leasing manager here. I assumed it all to be on the up and up. The leasing manager says a man approached him about a year and a half ago looking for office space. We showed him a couple of spaces and he's like, you know what, I'll take them all. Company moved in one by one, eventually taking up nine offices on two floors. What did he tell you about the business that he was in? The way I was understanding it is like this company would provide back braces, this company would provide knee braces, this company would provide hip braces, whatever, whatever kind of brace you need, like that's what they would provide. Now the feds are investigating. Documents reveal they've seized millions of dollars and froze assets tied to what they call a conspiracy to exploit the elderly and defraud taxpayers. He said he was making a lot of money and he needed to put it someplace. Weeks before the April raid, a viewer sent us a tip to check out one of the companies. With hidden cameras, we went in and found just one person answering phones. Boxes piled high with braces in this patient fitting area. Yet the sole worker told us patients never come here. Everything is handled over the phone. Wait till you see this. Diane Bertrand showed us inside a box. A knee brace, a wrist brace. Her mom recently received. Another wrist another brace. Another wrist brace, another knee brace. All built to Medicare. And another one. Taxpayers. She didn't order this? No. She no. didn't want it? No. Does she need it? No. We tracked the box to this office tower in Holiday, Florida, where we found more than a dozen more medical supply companies that were also raided by the feds and started by the same players, according to the building's owner. They've always been very professional. State business records link Skylar Poppy and Kelly Wolf to at least 50 medical equipment companies on Florida's West Coast, including the ones here, 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 and this one that was just set up a stone's throw away from the county sheriff. To date, neither have been charged with any crimes. Property records show Wolf owns two waterfront homes in Clearwater, including this million dollar golf front townhouse she bought last year. Yeah, it's bad. It's Brian Alberton is a former U.S. attorney in Florida who used to prosecute Medicare fraud cases. If you don't really have patience, but yes, yeah, it's made to appear as if patients in fact are coming. Uh, that itself would be a badge of fraud. And while charges have not been filed in this matter, he says so many linked to the same two people is suspicious. Just simply the sheer number of them kind of defies normal economic expectation. We found Wolf and Poppy back at this complex where state records show Wolf also runs a medical supply billing office. Neither wanted to talk. It seemed that their business model was to get the company started, get it up and running, sell it to another person. State records show some of these medical supply companies changed hands before the raids with new owners crossing both coasts of Florida and California while the majority shut down after a visit from the feds. I mean look at this. More medical suppliers are finding a home in the Sunshine State. If she put all this on she'd look like a robot. Profits and taxpayers and victims at the mercy of who's behind the box of goods. Somebody has to put a stop to it. It's just not fair. It really isn't. I'm I-Team Investigator Katie Legrone, taking action for you.